Do you know how long I've been trying to make a World Cup video? I have been trying since the beginning, uh, since the end of the group stage. I said I wasn't going to cover the entire thing. I just was about to cover the group stage, maybe a couple of the round of 16, and then the final. Because I want to see what happened. I've been trying for, uh, since the group stage has ended. I have not been able to. Unfortunately, yeah, like I said, I haven't been able to. Excuse me, I'm a bit clocked up. Now, it is the final coming up this Sunday of the World Cup final in Quetzal between Argentina and France. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Yep, the World Cup is almost done. It has been a crazy, crazy, crazy World Cup. Like, there's been so many, so many matches that I never thought that would have been, that would have, that would have had the results that it had. Like, for instance, now let me go here. Does it go all the way back to the group page, the group, the group stages? Yes, it does. Like, for instance, we're going to start with Group E. Japan. Holy shit, the Samurai Blue. They won their group. They won it. They showed up, won their group with France. What, sorry, not France. With um, Spain coming in second, Co and Germany coming in third, and Costa Rica coming in fourth. They, Japan, I, I can't, I can't say, I can't say enough about Japan because they have amazed me. They have seriously amazed me. Who would have thought the Samurai Blue would have made it as far as they have? They won the group save. They beat, they first of all, they beat Germany. They beat a multiple time world champions. They cut, they basically buck broke their asses so bad that they, that they that Germany never made it out the group stage. Then they went, they went ahead and faced Costa Rica. Now I thought, yo, Japan's about to win this. Japan's about to win this one. They beat the world. They beat the previous world champions and they're about to beat Costa Rica. Cause Costa Rica, they about to, they about to smash them. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case and Costa Rica won. And then the big test happened. What, what was about to happen? This will determine if, Japan was going to go up and on to the next round to knockout rounds, or if they didn't. This was Spain versus Germany. Spain, at first, they had the upper hand up until the, uh, the second half. And, oh, my God, Japan turns it out. Again, they came from behind just like they did with Germany, and they, they did it. They won the group. And... If this is how Japan plays, if they work on their penalties, if they go ahead and work on their penalties, you know, work on the attacking and their defensive side, I can see them being a legit threat in U.S. 2026 because there will be a World Cup in 2026. There will be one. Said Blatter, you have no choice but to send the World Cup to the United States. And I hope to God the United States Attorney General busts your ass and Blatini's ass. You fucking corrupt ass bitches. I hope they. I hope the U.S. Uh, the U.S. Attorney General busts both your asses for your corruption. We're gonna go to. Uh, we're gonna. I, I messed up because I, I. I messed up because I wanted to talk about group uh, Group F. But uh, I'm gonna. Start, uh, I'm gonna go to Group A. So we start off. Well, no, we the next the next the next group I'm going to talk about was Group A. Which we have Netherlands, Senegal, Ecuador, and Qatar. Oh, Qatar. Two hundred and twenty billion dollars. You're host of the World Cup. And you're in and you're at your own country playing for your home stadium. And you end up getting smashed by inner 
Valencia and Ecuador in your first match, and which I which I made a video on. By the way, it'll be it'll be in a card on the upper right hand side of your screen. Go ahead and check that out after this video, or you could pause it and check it out now. Doesn't matter at your discretion. And I was so happy that Katar um got smashed in that game two nothing. It should have been three nothing, but the referee waved off that first goal by by of course in the inner Venezia Venezia. I can't find that dude in FIFA because I want to little seriously put that dude on my uh, Sunderland my Sunderland squad. I got I got posted up on a uh, FIFA twenty three. I want to add him on. So then we got uh, Ecuador didn't make it to the quarter to the um, knockout rounds, but they did a great job uh, mopping the floor with these frauds right here. Then we got Senegal and Senegal and Netherlands passed through. Then Group B, which is the ones I was afraid of. England, United States, Iran, and Wales. We lost, the United States lost against Wales. We drew against England. And the biggest game that we had in the United States was U.S. versus Iran. And you already know that was a big, that was a big fucking political bullshit mess that was going to happen. One of the reporters tried to start, uh, tried to start with something with, uh, I think his name is Tony Adams. I might be wrong. I don't forget what the dude's name is. Please excuse me. But the um, the U.S. player actually played it off and actually answered this question. Says something about how does it feel to be in the United States where you are considered less than a human being or or something like that. Don't don't call me on that. I I gotta listen to that quote again. If if I'm if I'm able to pull up the quote, I'll put it in the video. Whatever, whatever. Group C, Argentina, Poland, Mexico, and Saudi Arabia. The biggest uh the biggest shocker of this group was Saudi Arabia beating Argentina. Yes, Saudi Arabia actually beat the mighty Argent the Argentines. They beat them, I think I think uh two nothing. Two nothing? I don't know. Let me do they come up the score? Yes they do. Hold up. Let me look it up. Group C, yeah, um, it wasn't two nothing. It was two one. November twenty second. That's right. That was the biggest, um, the biggest shock of the world. I guess one of the biggest shocks of the World Cup. Of course, they didn't win against the United States because we wasn't going to lose to them. But yeah, that's one of the biggest shocks of the World Cup. Go back to standings, please. Excuse me. Um. Group D, Tunisia, France, Argentina, Ar Argentina, Australia, and Denmark. Now, my dark horse for this one was Tunisia. I wanted to see them go through because even though they won their match, unfortunately, they was unable to go through. Australia did, along with France, because it's fucking France. Do you think the world champions are actually going to lose? So they, they broke the World Cup curse. That That's over now. We've talked about Group E in Japan somehow pulling out the blue lock shit and winning their group. Group F. My God. Morocco, Croatia, Belgium, and Canada. Of course, the, the weak sissies in Canada didn't win a single game, so they were completely out. Morocco. My God. Ladies and gentlemen, I just I just want to applaud Morocco. They are the first African nation to make it all the way to a FIFA World Cup semifinal. <laughs> the first and now the only nation, only African nation to make it to a FIFA World Cup semifinal. They may have lost against France but I must applaud them because they have been the dark horse of my dreams they have shocked everybody they shocked me they shocked the footballing world they have played with heart fire and passion and I cannot wait to see them I hope they I hope they make it through to the World Cup in 
in the U.S. in 2026. They are the team to look at along with Japan. And I hope to God I, that I get the chance to see them in the United States because I will want to see these guys play. They came tantalizingly, so tantalizingly close to being the first nation to not only beat the world champs, but to make it to the final of the world of the World Cup. Do you know how much press that would have gotten? The world would have rejoiced. It would have been the it would have been Argentina versus Morocco, a South American team versus an African team in the World Cup. The whole world would have came out, and then you would have some clueless ass motherfucking bitches going all oh talking about black. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop there. Can say anything about that, but they would have been the first African nation to one beat the world champions at a semifinal, the first African nation to go to the FIFA World Cup final, and the and this one would have been the first the first World Cup where a European team didn't even make it to a final. I think. Don't quote me on that last part, but yo, a Mo- Morocco versus Argentina. Yo, that would have been the stuff of legends. That would have been the stuff of fucking dreams. Now, I'm going to say this. If England would have beaten France in a semifinal, and Argentina would have, of course, they was going to win anyways, they would have had a chance to move on to the final. Against England. If England would have won, they would have they England would have beaten France. They would have won. They I I I truly believe that Morocco they would have they would have won the World Cup. I I straight up would have believed that. I would I one hundred. Let me stand ten toes down. Oh, let me get out this damn bed and let me stand ten toes down on my shit. Morocco, let me turn my mic up too. So make sure you turn yours up. Make sure you turn your um. Go ahead and turn your uh your t- your um your speakers up because this is a speaker warning. I truly believe that Morocco would have war would have won the FIFA World Cup this year. I truly believe that. Okay, you're um okay, that's over. But but listen, listen, I truly believe that they they would have they would have made it and won the World Cup. And which would have sent the whole country the whole country uh, the whole Af- uh, whole of Africa into s- complete delirium. They would have been parties all week. They would have been parties for all Moroccans around the world. I truly believe that. Honestly in my heart. But unfortunately, they lost to the world champs at the at the at the at the semifinals against them, and it broke my heart. It hurt my soul. I don't believe in the soul, but it it hurt me somewhere down in my in my heart. It truly did hurt me, cause it would have been great. But I have to applaud Morocco. I gotta applaud you. I have to applaud you. You have done something that is. That's going to be talked about for years. And if you bring that same passion, that same fire, that same that same thing that you have been doing, and you crank that shit up to 11, same thing with Japan, worked on your penalties, worked on your defense and offense, and crank that shit up all the way up to 11, you will be in the semifinals next year. And I truly believe y'all might make it to the finals. I truly believe y'all might. But good shit, Morocco. Good shit. Y'all ain't got nothing to hang your heads. No, hang your heads high. Put your head up high. You have done something that no other African nation now have, can say. You can say now that we made it to a FIFA World Cup semifinal. What, what, what did any of y'all do? 
quarterfinals, round of 16, you won your group, pfft, who cares? We won our group and we went to the semifinal. We faced the world champ. We may have lost, but we made it. What have you done? You have that right now. You have bragging rights for all African nations, and I applaud you. All right, moving on. Group G, Brazil, Switzerland, Cameroon, and Serbia. Cameroon, they did not make it. They got four points. Serbia, one point. Brazil, my God, my God, my God, my God. Y'all lost in heartbreaking fashion, but you won your group stage. Y'all lost against Croatia. Croatia, and I'm going to talk about them in a moment once we get to their group. Y'all, y'all won your group, but Brazil, I think this is, the, I think, the, how old is Neymar? How old is Neymar? I think some of this current crop of Brazilian players, I don't think they will be playing the world, they don't think they will be in the World Cup in 2026. I don't think Neymar, how, I think, wait, Neymar's like, what, 32 right now? 31? So he'll be 35 in 2026. I might be wrong. Hold on. My my fucking hard drive. External hard drive from my Xbox is doing weird shit. Oh, hold on a second. Ever since my fucking my fucking Seagate in a suspense drive fucking went out on me all of a sudden, man. God. I'm glad I still got this one, but this one's pissing me off. Anywho. Neymar is going to be um, 35 or 36 come 2026 for the next World Cup. And that's going to be something because I, I don't know if I don't, that might be his last World Cup because after 2026, he'll be 39. He'll be 39. So I think in 2026, that will be his last World Cup. And speaking of last World Cups, Portugal, South Korea, Uruguay, <laughs> and Guana. These two right here, back in 2010, uh, was it 2010, 2014? You already know what the deal is. So do I. I saw that match between Uruguay and Ghana. Luis Suarez, you are the biggest bitch to ever walk the earth. And I'm going to stand 10 toes down on my shit again. <clears throat> Louis Suarez, you are the biggest bitch to ever walk the earth for what you did to Ghana back at that World Cup. You are the biggest cunt to ever do that shit. The hand of God belongs to me now. Fuck you. Sorry about that. I had to blow your ears out for that. But um, when this group came out, it, it was interesting because I think Ghana, I think Ghana, hold, hold on, let me check, let me check, let me check. I mean, be sure because unlike, uh, unlike uh, NBC News, we want to get our facts straight. So let me find that match. It was right here. Two nothing, two nothing Uruguay. They needed, um, they needed who 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 they who did they need to uh to mess up to win? They needed a they could they had three. They needed South Korea to either they needed South Korea to draw or lose, which they didn't. No, they they needed South Korea to lose straight up to even to even make it. But even then again, they they really didn't need a they really should have just won their second their first or second first or third match to make it through. Ghana basically said, bitch, if I don't, if I can't make it, you ain't making either. Crab in the bucket mentality. But for this one, I agree with it because Uruguay, yeah, Luis Suarez, yeah, you, you are straight up bitch. And so basically that, that's basically my take on the group stages. Um, okay. Brazil, Jesus Christ, 
Brazil, 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 Brazil. You guys lost in heartbreaking fashion at the World Cup. No, we ain't talking about Copa America. We don't go to the World Cup. Round of 16 versus Croatia. Croatia. They have been three. They won their their current um they won their penalties they've won all the, all penalty shooters that they have won they won spectacularly they they were they are they were three and nothing in this world cup i say i say were because well now they they they've been eliminated by uh by argentina but their record in this world cup when it comes to penalty shootouts spotless Richardson, they needed Richardson to the even up like three two or three two to even have a chance, and then they needed a Croatia miss or block to and another score to make it three three. Unfortunately, they didn't get that because Richardson for Brazil bounced off the lower right hand lower right hand um, crossbar or left hand crossbar. I need to see that match again because I got it recorded on my DVR. I need to watch it again. I will after this. To uh to make it through, from from what I said before, so please and no more. I just said now. Unfortunately, they didn't, and Brazil went home, quarterfinals. Okay, going back to the standings. The U.S. We lost against the Netherlands, so of course I wanted whoever beat the Netherlands, which I think was was it Argentina? Was it Argentina? No, who did the Netherlands face in the semis or quarterfinals? Hold on, let me see because I, I want to be sure. Netherlands, okay. Da, 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 that's the Euros. Why does it keep showing me the Euros? I ain't talking about the Euros. I want to see World Cup. Thank you. Was it France? Oh, God. Fucking split screen. No, I ain't talking about the Euros or qualifiers. I don't care. Argentina, so I was right. They won on penalties. That was right. They Argentina won on penalties to make it through to the to the semis. Which of course they went against Croatia. Croatia lost against Argentina and now they're in the final. Okay, and and that, that's all I'm gonna talk about for now. Cause this this uh this has gone on for like twenty minutes. But I have got to give it up to the I gotta give it up to first of all for Ecuador for beating Qatar. For announcing them as frauds, I gotta give it to to the United States because we actually look good in this World Cup. We should have beat England, but who cares? We, we're two and zero against England. We won that match. Fuck the draw. We won that match. Fuck fuck England. Fuck the. Uh, let me stop. <laughs> we won against England. We're still undefeated. We're champions, baby. <laughs> um. I gotta give it to Argentina because they they made it through. I don't know how, but they've made it through. Oh shit, my fault. <laughs> they made it through to the final of the World Cup. They 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 look like that they could be ready to make it from seventy eight when they when they first went nineteen eighty eight and now two thousand twenty two. They came close in two thousand eighteen. At uh no, was it two thousand eighteen in Russia or was it two thousand fourteen? I think it was 2018 in Russia against Germany when they came close to it in the final. Tanuncia, I you may have lost, you may you may never advance, but I've I got to say y'all been y'all been excellent too. Keep your heads up. Japan, 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 the samurai blue. Lord have mercy, working your penalties because holy shit, that penalty shootout was absolutely abysmal. Keep your attack up. Don't lose yourself on defense. And I promise you, you will be the ones to look in 2026. That's what we got. Morocco. Like, I've already given you, I've already given you your praise. Like, holy shit, like, 
first African nation to make it to the semifinals. You have nothing to hang your heads down for. Bring your heads up. You've made Africa proud. You made the world proud of you. I, I can't say any more than that. You've you you've shocked the world here. Croatia, y'all came close. Three and zero in penalty shootouts. My God, my God, you guys are amazing. Who else? Who else do I need to congratulate? Brazil, Brazil, you did well. Unfortunately, y'all need to work on your penalties. Like uh, Alexi Lalas, what's his name said, you do not have a God given right to a World Cup, to the World Cup trophy. Y'all may be five time champions. Or something like that, but yeah, hey, y'all, y'all need to, y'all need to put in the performance. Portugal, y'all came close, but y'all lost against the Netherlands. Who did y'all face to lose? Croatia or the no Croatia? No, y'all lost against Morocco. That's right, y'all lost against Morocco. God damn. Holy shit, I forgot. Damn, Mor- Morocco done beat, done beat the, the favorites. Uruguay, go fuck yourself. Not not Uruguay, go fuck yourself. But Louis Suarez, you can go fuck yourself. Ghana, I hope you're going to be at the next World Cup. And hopefully, y'all y'all got y- Morocco, Cameroon. Y'all got y'all got to push yourselves now because Morocco got 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 the bragging rights. So y'all got to, y'all got to, y'all got to <laughs> come on with it. And that, that that's basically all I gotta say. That's 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 all I gotta say for right now. I will try to make a World Cup final video on Sunday after the World Cup because luckily I'm going to be watching the entire thing. Now the thing is, will I stream that on Twitch? Probably not because I'll be watching Macwell's um World Cup predict <laughs> World Cup uh, stream. <laughs> God damn, he's funny. <laughs> I subscribe to him. You should subscribe to him as well. I'll put I'll put up the card and whatever I need to do on the um I'll put up his thing on the YouTube channel. You go check him out. He's also doing a giveaway since he made since he hit ten thousand subscribers on uh Instagram, ten thousand followers on Instagram. Uh, he's giving away twenty World Cup shirts. Make sure you fill out that little Google thing, man, and hopefully you'll be one of the twenty to win. I'm gonna give me a. A Japan, I'm gonna give me a Japan home shirt. Hopefully, I win it. Hopefully, I win that competition. Hopefully, hopefully, so I get give me a Japan home shirt because I I do gotta say I I should pick a I should have picked the United States, but yo I gotta give it to Japan. I gotta give it to Japan. I gotta give it up to them. I'll buy me I'll buy me a U.S. shirt. I'll buy a U.S. shirt. And yeah, that's pretty much it because it's running 26 minutes on. But yo I I that that's it. I'll see you guys on Sunday. I'm not streaming this. I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'm I'm not streaming um Sunday. I will do a World Cup video on Sunday. Monday I might be streaming. That might come around one or two o'clock, depending if I'm not going to work, if I'm not doing anything. So I will see you guys Sunday. Y'all have a good weekend. Y'all be safe. Make sure you keep a lookout for the World Cup, the World Cup thing. It is on Sunday, December eighteenth, two thousand twenty two. It's coming. It's coming this Sunday, ten a.m. Y'all be up bright and early, because I know I am. I'm going to be watching it. Hopefully, I'm not going nowhere, because, shit, I don't want to go nowhere. And I will see you guys. i see you guys later, man. Y'all be safe. Y'all have a good weekend, man. And subscribe. Make sure you, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe to the subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to make more content. I'm going to be back to gaming. Hopefully, December 22nd, there will be a Steam sale to where Need for Speed Unbound is on sale because um, I'm going to play that game. I might stream it. Actually, no, I'm not going to stream because holy shit, I need the music. I I, I need the music because it's <laughs> listen to music and have the fun. But I hope there is a mod to where I can have my music on there. Anyways, going on too long. Like, subscribe, do all that jazz. Love y'all. Be safe. Peace.